I've been thinking a lot over the last few years, as I think a lot of us have, about what it means to live together, how we identify with a place, how we work out who our neighbours are. And uh, as I started working on the poems towards this book, I didn't quite know. I, I usually don't know where a book is going to go. I just start writing the poems and then usually about halfway in or two thirds of the way in, they start to coalesce around a particular idea or image or theme. And in this case, I thought these all seem to be rooted in, well, a city, a city like Manchester, but actually not quite Manchester. Um, they, they are about an imagined city, a mythic city. And I'm interested in the way that cities are both real and mythic at the same time, that everyone who knows a city, who has family history or personal history in a city, has a different map of it. We all have, we make our own complex maps of cities and how we relate to other people in those cities. So I, I, it coincided with some work I was doing as well on uh, Utopia, Thomas More's Utopia. So I started to think a lot about how we make cities in our minds and our imaginations and what that could mean. So Mancunia is part Manchester and part not Manchester. Almost every writer I know of, with one or two impressive exceptions from history, um, have been interested in readers and wanted that sense that the poem is at some point cut free and becomes a public object and you want people to engage with it. I mean, I think there's obviously a mixture of anxiety and excitement about that process when you first um, publish a poem. Uh, what are people going to make of it? Especially, I suppose, a book of poems where you want to see whether it, if people, people feel it's cohesive and has um, a sort of unity to it. So um, I'm as interested in that sense of communicating as I think every writer would be. It means a huge amount to be shortlisted for the Elliot Prize. Um, it's obviously a prize that everyone looks to and uh, uh, takes notice of every year. Um, the, the readings are a fantastic event that take place on the South Bank. Um, and it's judged by your peers. It's judged by poets and that means a great deal.